talk about the different ways that you can do it, all the steps. But so many people have asked me, like, okay, can you just do it? Can you just show us how you would make a portfolio from scratch? So that's what I'm doing. Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal is that at the end of this video is to walk you through step by step how to create a portfolio as a virtual assistant. Now if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leon Leila Kaba. I have been working remotely since I was 15 years old and now run my own agency here in the Philippines. And I post video every Sunday on how to have an online career and every Thursday on how to have an online business. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now this topic has been very highly requested ever since I did a couple of videos ago on how to create your online portfolio now there I talk about the different ways that you can do it all the steps but so many people have asked me like okay can, can you just do it can you just show us how you would make a portfolio from scratch so that's what I'm doing so make sure to watch until the end of this video because I will really walk you guys through how to create it and show you guys also the outcome of what it would look like if I had more time basically. So before I dive into this, I want to make sure that you guys know what a virtual assistant does. So make sure to watch this video on basically what does a virtual assistant do in a day? What does that job look like? Because it will relate a lot on the kind of portfolio that you might be creating. Which brings me to the first thing that you need to have is what are the skills that you want to specialize in as a virtual assistant? Now for me, ever since that I have my own business, I've worn a lot of hats. I've been marketing, I've been sales, I've done my own personal branding as well. I have my YouTube channel. So I have a lot of different just outputs that I've been able to create. So I have a lot of things that I can put on my portfolio. I have a lot of different skills. But for you, if you're just getting started, pick one or two skills that you want to be an expert in or you might already be learning. So it could be graphic skills, writing skills, social media. It could be the admin tasks that you might be doing for your client. So again, pick one or two skills that you want to have to start if you've never had any experience at all. If you have experience, it's going to be so much easier for you to create this portfolio because we're just gonna go through all of the other past work that you've done that we can later on put into your portfolio. Now, the second thing is, let's say you don't have any experience at all, then you want to go online and search for different prompts. Now, you can literally go on Google and search graphic artist portfolio prompts or writing prompts, or if you're going more into the admin route, try to search for different templates of calendars and how you would organize someone else's calendar so you are showing what it would be like if people ended up working with you that's essentially what a portfolio is is you are showing them what your usual output would look like so again go over the video where i talk about all of the different tasks and things that a virtual assistant does so you have a better way of thinking about like okay what are different skills that a usual client would expect that a virtual assistant can do next is then once you've picked your skill, once you've already created a few minor things, then we actually go into creating the portfolio. Now, the tool that I always recommend because it makes it so easy, there's templates that you can use is Canva. And we're going to jump right into my computer so we can go through that process. Now, if you guys haven't signed up for Canva yet, you can go to leeandlay.com slash Canva for a free 30 days on the pro trial so you can really explore what are different things that you can do on this platform. Now, specifically for creating portfolio, you guys can go on here and search portfolio and then you will be able to see so many samples so, um, you can see already I have a few designs which I'll show you guys in a little bit but you guys can just go to portfolio presentation as part of the templates and here you can already see so many ways that you can create a portfolio you do not have to start from scratch you can use all of the portfolio templates that you can find here on Canva just so you can get yourself started now just literally pick any of this that's the next step now that you're on Canva you can pick any of the templates Templates. If you really want to start from scratch, it's going to be a little bit harder because you have to put in your own theme, you have to put in your own thing. But if you really just want to get started, just pick any of these. So to make this super quick, I'll just pick literally the first one that's on here. So one of the ways that you can think of a portfolio, it's kind of a resume and you show in your works at the same time. Although I would really recommend that you do have a separate place for your resume just so your employer can look both. 
So here, I'm just go ahead and you know edit. So just of course, I'm gonna put in my name. So let us say that I am applying as a virtual assistant since this is what the video is about. If you are applying as a writer, you can do that there. And then you can go ahead and edit this in a lot of different ways that you want. You can put in like, and if you have brand colors like I do, so um, like this one, I can edit to, you know, my brand colors and then uh, it will show up as that. If you don't have any brand colors, that's fine too. Uh, the point of this is you kind of make it your own. You want to make sure that the employer knows like, oh, this is who Leanne is. This is what she does. Uh, and this is what she's best at. So then that's that. And I'll just do that edit. And then you can go here to your bio page. So here you want to put in a really good picture of yourself. Um, you want to edit this. So I'm going to go basically switch to time lapse a little bit as I go ahead and edit this myself. Okay, so that's kind of like the first thing done. I'm just gonna edit this last one to just say L. Um, and yeah, that's it. Again, you can edit this into your brand colors if you have any brand colors, just to make it, again, just you. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the first step of this. The cool thing of just kind of following a template is you can just, you're literally just editing now. You're not anymore in creating, you're in editing and adding your own stuff. Next is after your bio page or introduction page. Usually it's like, these are the skills that I have. So for example, here I'll put in uh, content writing, writing, I'll put in um, admin. So you want to briefly um, talk about like what are the different skills that you have. Uh, that way, from a bird's eye view, your employer knows what, again, what you're bringing to the table, what it looks like to work with you. And again, you can go ahead and edit like the colors and stuff. Um, editing this, my virtual assistant skills. And then next page is, you know, how I work with my clients. So again, each template will have different prompts that you can go through and follow. If you have no experience at all, you can go ahead and just delete a few slides, just as easy as that. If you can't relate to some of the slides that are put on here, next we have your qualities I'm proud of. So like, what are the soft skills, for example, that you are really proud of that you have? Uh, and then here, my popular projects, which is the base of where a lot of the things that are going to be in your portfolio would be. Now, after you've created kind of the bio, your background, then you want to go into the different things that you've done before. Again, if you don't have any experience, you can use the things that you just created through the different prompts that you found on Google. So for example, for me, a lot of my own work is either going to be on my Instagram, my Facebook, or my YouTube. So I can go into my, also on my LinkedIn, actually. Uh, if I go to my LinkedIn, I have different articles that I've written there before that I can just go ahead and grab. So what I'll do is I'll go to my, again, if you don't have any portfolio, that's fine. If you don't have any past works, but this is again, how I would do and create my own. So for example, I'll go ahead and take a screenshot of uh, this article that I wrote on top mistakes when working at the virtual assistant. Now this shows, because I already have talked about this topic, this shows um, my expertise like why i'm the person for this and i can write articles about this um you know i can put in linked in articles about vas uh and then i can put in like client name if i did this for a specific client if not um you can go ahead and just delete that and then you can put like a quick summary of what this article was about so again you're you're showing them what it is that you are able to do any output that you've done again if you don't have any that's okay i am picking linkedin because linkedin is actually one of the places where you can post as a writer your own articles on your profile you guys saw how easy that was for me to go into here into looking at what are the different articles that i've written before next to that is you can add just more and more of your work. So I can go into my Instagram and then I can go ahead and look for any of the graphics that I have on here. So uh, what I can do is, for example, this one uh, that has like really good engagement. If I was, you know, saying that I'm a specialist in social media marketing, I can take a screenshot of this. I can even grab the caption that I that I put on here. And as simple as that, I can start saying that, uh, you know, social media marketing, so uh, client name, if, again, you don't have a client, that's fine. You put in, I create educational posts on Instagram to educate my followers. So that's basically it. You, you want to, again, show off what are the things that you've done already that may relate 
to the job that you're trying to apply for, in this case being a virtual assistant. Like I said, the three skills that I picked earlier were going to be content writing, admin, and graphics. So this is showing my content writing side. Um, it also shows that I'm capable of writing captions for social media. It's not just for articles. And then next, um, if you have any other projects that you've done, you can start putting them here. You can grab any graphics that you might have done already before uh, and put that into your portfolio. You can take screenshots of any success that you've done before. So for example, for me, I would take a screenshot of my YouTube channel of the fact that I've grown it to almost 8,000 subscribers at this point. By the way, if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there to help me reach my goal to get 10k this year. But aside from that, you again want to show what it's like to work with you. Another way that you can show your success as a virtual assistant, like I said, is you can show samples of your calendar, samples of your email, of how when it comes to working with you, you'll be able to clean up their email and their calendar. Let's say you've breezed through this, you've added like different projects that you've used, the different things that you've done. Here you can add feedback from clients. You can put in reviews of other people who've worked with you. That way it's showing what it's like to work with you without having to work with you. So it's showing that you have given value to other people as well. Now, if you don't have any experience at all, that's okay too. You can work for free for other people or you can ask for feedback from people who have seen your work. You can give them like, hey, can you put like a review of how, you know, uh, how I was able to create this? Like, what are your thoughts on this? Again, it's showing that other people like your work, that you've given value to other people as well. Now, next is the last part is actually just a contact. Make it super easy for your potential employer to be able to reach out and contact and work with you. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what this would look like if I had time to make this. So basically, this is what mine would look like. It's super simple, straightforward. It shows a little bit of my branding. I might not want my photo here, and that's again, that's okay. You don't have to put a photo there. It shows my certifications, the different things I've been able to achieve. It shows, again, my previous work. So the different graphics that I've created. This might not be the best resolution that I used for this, but again, it's showing what I've been able to do. I've also put in the screenshots of articles that I've written before. I've put in a screenshot of the course that I've created. So this again shows my expertise, shows what I've been able to do before. Uh, and then I also have, again, my YouTube videos, like the things that I've been able to accomplish. I show that I have been featured in different podcasts and been interviewed in different places. I show what articles and magazines who have featured me because of my expertise. So anytime that you have people mentioning about you, you want to take a screenshot of that, you want to take pictures of like testimonials and reviews. You want to again take photos of social media posts that you've done that have done really really well online. And then of course you want to end it with just your contact page of so making sure that your employer knows how they would be able to reach out to you. And that is essentially it when it comes to you creating your portfolio online. The last three tips that I have for you before you send off your portfolio is one, please check your grammar. Two is please double check that your work is obvious. It's obvious that you made it. If you, for example, made some work for a client of yours, you can block out the name of the page maybe and then make sure that it says, you know, edited by XXX. Like any time that you create some sort of output, make sure that you keep a record of it. Which brings me to number three, which is just have a folder. Organize a folder where you have screenshots, where you have an organized way to show your work if the employer does ask for more samples. So just start collecting all of the different things that you are doing right now to build up that portfolio to where you want it to be. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button right there and comment below. What skill are you focusing on for your first portfolio? I'm really, really excited to see what you guys are going to be doing. And of course, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos on how to have an online career, which you guys can check out the playlist right here. How to have an online business, which you guys can check out the playlist right here. And the newest video right here. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!